Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're here playing Neon Prism as part of my Steam Cleaning series where I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and review them after just a wee bit of playtime. I have no idea what this game is because I play these games randomly thanks to a roulette setup. We're going to jump in here and give it a go. New game. Start a new game? Yes. Play tutorial? No. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a thrust button. All right. It's weird that there's a thrust button. Nope. Ooh, whoa. Oh, okay, so this gives me a blink ability. Oh no. Oh, I had a charge, so that got me through. Man, this controls really poorly with the, uh... With the thrust button. I'm getting a hang of it, but I still think it controls really poorly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Alright, so some of these... That. So am I supposed to sneak around that thing? I guess I'm supposed to. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Alright, that's actually kind of novel. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. Alright, I like that mechanic. That's something new. Man, if only this game was better to control. Let's check the options. Oh. Nope. I'm just curious why they insist on a... Alright, let's hit quit. Oh, no, no. Controls. Forward, backward, right trigger. No, I want I want analog control. Alright, it doesn't look like they have that. There is slow, which is X, blink, which is A, turning. A vertical movement? What? Okay. So are yellow blocks bouncy? Yes, okay. Alright. 
right. So red kills you. Yellow is bouncy. So do I want to go through green? Do I have to blink in there? Alright, so you can't blink through that. I like a fair bit about this game, I just find the controls are terrible. Or should I say the controls require a very deliberate touch? And analog bursts. Yeah, I have no analog. This is the minimum stick input is full speed, so it's hard to move slow. All right, I must have, hang it. I must have to go. Through the green. Okay, so that that allows you to go through it once. Alright. Alright, next level. Alright. Just doing laps. There's a little pixel alignment issues with this, which is minor, but kind of a shame. Oh, wrong way. What? Ugh. So far of all the puzzles, I like the one where you're pushing the level pieces around. I thought that was pretty clever. But the rest, uh, so far not so much. Uh, it's really all in the control. And this thing controls pretty darn bad. Some good ideas. Just the setup makes it unfun to play. Oh, the sound effects are just so quiet. Again, I think this is a pretty cool mechanic here with little level builds. to sneak but unfortunately sneaking is not this game's strong point well, I use the reverse there so fast oh no I made it There's a black hole. That level seemed oddly easy. Uh, 
Oh no! Again, kind of easy. Oh jeez. Oh no. Alright, sneak up by. Almost. Go, 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 go. Damn. Ah! No. Yeah, the need for fine-tuned movement is just not this game's strong point. Restart. <sighs> I think this is my last level. We can talk about this game a little bit. All right, let's go back to the main menu. <clears throat> So, Neon Prison. Um, this game has some really good core mechanics. I like the some of the level designs really interesting. They've got some cool things like the, the chasing wall, the sliding the puzzle around, the growing death walls. Like There's a lot of stuff. They're really taking the space they've created, the design space, and used every part of that buffalo. And I think that is the best thing going for this game. Like this, That's a really great job they did on saying... We've got four mechanics, let's make them really good. Now, granted, I didn't really use stuff like blink or slow or, or any of that kind of stuff, and, and maybe I should have to get better at it. The core issue here is that the gameplay feels bad. The I have to hold down right trigger to move forward is not ideal. Like, why add a button to go when you have the stick? Like, just make the stick the button to go. Um, now, I understand it's a design decision on how that goes, but it doesn't feel well. This would be much better as just you push the stick in the direction you want to go. Maybe you have a turn radius or something like that, but it really drew me out because the game did not feel like it was responding to the input uh, I was doing. Now, granted, it's, you know, a, a bad carpenter blames his tools kind of thing. And I feel that this is the same kind of situation where I'm saying I couldn't perform what I wanted to do. I am blaming the controls. Now, I don't blame the controller. I blame the fact that the input is there. It's like, yeah, I'm a carpenter. I blame my chisel, but I'm working with Jello here. Like, it's not the right tool for the job. And the implementation of the stick and throttle combination, which could have been reduced to one move or one, one input, uh, would have made this game better. Now, granted, I know they wanted the reverse, and that's why they did it. The left triggers reverse, right triggers go. But again, I was I skipped the tutorial because I don't play those. I don't think reverse was that valuable. Um, maybe that's something to do with the fact they put that hard uh, turn radius on it. But as a play tester, or if I was a play tester, I should say, uh, I really liked everything except for the controls. This game would be great, and I would recommend it if the controls felt good. They do not. And despite all the level design and the music and the styles and stuff like that, it's not a good game because it's not. It doesn't feel good to play. That's it. Neon Prism. Cheers.